Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. In this video, I want to show you brand new user interface that Microsoft Azure just rolled out for the Azure app services specifically around selecting plans. Switching over to the Azure portal, you can see the usual uh, create web app selections. You give it a name, pick your subscription, put it in a resource group. We do have now a Docker option between Windows, Linux, and Docker in terms of choosing the operating system. But more significantly, when you go to choose the app service plan, you can create a new plan, give it a name, a location, and when you choose the pricing, you get a whole new way of choosing the app service plan. You can see there are three tabs along the top. One is for dev test, one is for production, and one is for isolated. Selecting any of them brings up plans that are only related to those scenarios. Under dev test, you can see there's three recommendations, but when I say see additional options, there are two additional basic plans. So I've got the free plan that hasn't gone away. We've got the D plan, which is shared infrastructure, extremely cheap at almost 1.5 cents per hour, up to the basic plan, which is 10, 18, and 36 cents per hour in Canadian dollars. When I switch over to the production side, I can see all the additional features that come with it. Now, the thing I like about this is it's way less scrolling. In the old interface, when I would go to select app service plan, there were all the plans laid out. They were taking up one ninth of the screen each. And so I had to scroll quite a bit to get to the basic or free or standard plans. Um, this way, I basically get to filter off my, my scenario right off the top. It also has pulled out the features. Instead of listing each feature under each plan, the features are listed on the bottom here. So this is pretty cool. It's a brand new interface for selecting plans. Kudos to Microsoft and the Azure team. I think this makes it a lot clearer in terms of what you're selecting. And, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of just all text and not very much icons, not very much graphics, but it does convey a lot of information. I can see that progression from 12 cents to 24 cents to 48 cents to 97 cents to per hour. It makes it very easy. So I'm going to I'm going to select the premium plan for this example. But anyways, I wanted to point out there's a brand new interface. Um, still pretty simple. We'll get into the Docker web apps uh, at some future video. But the web app interface has changed and I like it.